Hello, women meant to be married. It's another dreary looking day in Kansas <laughs> today. I'm at school again, and I told you all that I was going to become more consistent um, with the videos. I gave y'all a break on Sunday. I'm like, y'all getting a word from the Lord, so. But um, just want to remind you all that we are standing on Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19 and if you've ever been on the line you will have heard me say that nobody can pray for your household better than you and also that you can't be praying for an excellent husband and you stay the same so in this new season in this spring that has yet to really look very springy not sure about my Mississippi family what is it that you've decided? You know what? I'm going to start working on that because I want to be new. I, old things have passed away is what the scripture says. And so if old things have passed away, what is becoming new, ladies? Man, it's something. You know, all of you all are married. I'm not married. But you know what? There's still so much to work on. And even now I'm working on a book about you know what you need to do after you get married and I'm just like wow even the book that I, I finished before then hear God before you say I do I think about all of the things that I did not know and so when I get on here and I'm talking to y'all I am not taking it for granted even though that's that's the past for me now I'm, but I'm not taking it for granted that you all have something that you have to do every day as far as being a wife a mother working um making decisions trying to submit trying to change and i just don't want you to be like how i was to get stuck in a rut or just you know be like forget it all together because sometimes we do we stop living ladies with that being said ladies never forget that you are a woman meant to be married that god loves you he sent his only son to die for you and stay beautiful in your hearts. Until next time.